welcome to the presentation on the classification of class reptilia and in this presentation we will be looking into the second suborder under order squamata that is suborder ophidia uh, it was already mentioned that order squamata includes two uh, suborders that is suborder lesotilia that included uh, the geckos and the lizards while of suborder ophidia included all the snakes okay now what are the certain features of ophidia uh, Ophelia, it is otherwise referred as serpentis, and uh, as you are all familiar, the snakes, it could be terrestrial or aquatic, it could be arboreal or burrowing. Arboreal means found on treetops, okay. Uh, so, uh, their body is slender and narrow. Uh, temporal pores are there entirely absent. Unlike the Lesotilia, here in the case of Ophelia, temporal pores are completely absent. Limbs and girdles are absent, and limbs and girdles are found in vestigial condition in uh, boas and pythons uh, in all other uh, snakes we can see the uh, limbs and girdles are completely absent when eyelids are immovable and mutating membrane absent ear openings and tympanum are also absent tongue is bifid and protrusible uh, we can find that sternum episternum and urinary bladder are absent Unlike Lesotilia, here they are, these uh, uh, structures are absent. Then maxillae, palatines, and pterygoids, the bones of the skull, uh, they are freely movable. So maxillae, palatines, and pterygoids, they are freely movable, and that is what helps uh, the snakes to uh, widen their mouth to swallow as such as a whole. Like, uh, for example, they can just um, uh, swallow huge calves or cattle and all. Uh, bulls and all uh, without damaging their uh, like uh, the skull isn't it because if these uh, bones the maxillae palatines and pterygoids are freely movable they can be stretched to the uh, maximum extent and pre-maxillae they are toothless then uh, the left uh, lung is small you can see that this uh, ophelia includes both non-venomous and venomous snakes a few examples are uh, non of non-venomous snakes include tiflops, that is a blind snake. Then we have the python, then tyas, that very common rat snake, then uh, Eryx johnny, the Indian boa. And venomous snakes, the very uh, common uh, crate, Indian cobra, the king cobra, the Indian pitless viper, sea snakes, etc. As per your syllabus, you are supposed to learn four non-venomous snakes and four venomous snakes. Okay. So the first venomous snake, it is a python. It is a large, massive, uh, non-poisonous uh, snake covered with small scales and shields on there. You can see here. Okay, so uh, their body is covered with uh, small scales and shields on the head and large plates below. Uh, tail is a, a prehensile um, and it has a vertical pupil. Uh, premaxilla also bears teeth in the case of python. It constricts warm-blooded animals in its coils and kill them. That they, they just coil around the warm-blooded animals and then they squeeze it or constrict the coils and then kill them. Due to the suffocation, the prey animal dies off and then it slowly swallows the prey. Pythons and boas have vestigial pelvic girdle uh, which articulate with a sm uh, small femur bearing a claw. The claws are seen on either side of the uh, cloaca and uh, they play a, a part in copulation. They are oviparous and python molaris, which you are supposed to learn as per the syllabus. Um, it is the Indian python. It is uh, it comes to uh, like more than eight meters long and it is uh, like grayish brown with red and black spots and a mark like spearhead between the eyes. Uh, the head is slightly depressed and ventral side is yellowish in nature. The scales of upper lip have pits and they are nocturnal in nature and uh, very often waits on trees for its prey okay so it uh, allows to live in water as well so pythons are found in uh, asia and africa and uh, uh, this is one of the uh, like uh, uh, one picture which shows the python modulus i hope it is clear okay so they have the uh, prehensile tail the depressed head then um, very thick trunk and diamond shaped spots on the dorsal side okay now the next one is tyas mucosis. Uh, this is a, a very common, uh, what you call the rat snake, 
um, the tyas mucosis it is a rat snake of india and it is highly uh, active non poisonous snake which feeds on rats small rodents and frogs and uh, it grows in length to about 2.5 meters and has an elongated tail a uh, very large elongated tail and scales above are smooth with pits and below the uh, the scales are large uh, transverse bands and the color is brownish above with black bands on the tail in some it is a pale yellow ventrally and the eyes are large with a round pupil it has a sharp ridge along the backbone and uh, here you can see the mid dorsal uh, ridge label here okay and uh, <coughs> right um they have uh, uh, it is uh, they are uh, far, uh, very swift ill tempered and bites viciously uh, it has a ner like nervous tem uh, temperament and it is untamable it is oviparous and it is regarded as a friend of the farmers because they uh, prey upon the rats okay it's very common uh, snake and it is non poisonous okay the next one is the uh, erix uh, uh, conicus or otherwise gongylophis uh, conicus it is a russell's boa or rough scaled uh, sand boa and uh, they uh, this is an indian um, sand boa we have and it is uh, uh, euro pelted and found in dry hot sandy parts of india uh, africa and sri lanka and the body is short uh, and flat with a stumpy tail you can see the tail is almost a uh, stumpy nature thick stumpy tail here eyes are minute and uh, the head is pointed and resembles the tail and hence it is otherwise referred as two head uh, boa uh, then uh, it has a uniformly sandy brown color and it may have cross bars and dark spots with small smooth scales above and slightly enlarged plates below Eryx is uh, um, just one meter long, and it is harmless subterranean snake. It lives in burrows of uh, small rodents on which it feeds, and also it feeds on lizards and worms. So this uh, Gongylophis uh, conicus, they are uh, burrowing in nature. Actually, they don't make burrows, but they use burrows for living. You use the burrows uh, of uh, rodents to uh, for their living, and the the head and the tail it cannot be distinguished because of the similar uh, what you call thickness and bluntness okay now the next um, the non poisonous snake is um, indotiplops indotiplops brahminus and it is considered to be the one of the smallest uh, non poisonous snakes we have and uh, uh, this um, you can see uh, unlike the other snakes the head region and the tail region is almost similar to that of the uh, earthworm isn't it and here uh, the um, the snake do have scales, um, head scales similar to that of the uh, scales found on the other parts of the body. And the scale is very, uh, what you call, shiny. And uh, it is, uh, so the head is measured to about 2 to 4 inches. That is uh, 5 to 10 centimeters long. And uh, making it uh, the smallest known uh, snake species. The head and the tail are superficially similar as the head and the neck are indistinct. You can find over here. Uh, in this picture itself it is uh, very like uh, 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 we cannot distinguish which is the head and the, which is the tail but here you can see the eyes are very minute this indistinguishable uh, the unlike other snakes the head scales resemble that of the body scales and eyes are barely uh, like distinguishable as small doubts uh, dots under the head scales the tip of the tail has a small pointed spur and <coughs> Along the body are 14 rows of dorsal scales. Uh, coloration ranges from charcoal gray, silver gray, light yellow beige, uh, purplish, or uh, um, even infrequently albino. Uh, the ventral surface is more pale. Um, the they are they could be lethargic to some in some cases energetic and quickly seeking the cover of soil or leaf litter to avoid light. Um, the tiny eyes are covered with translucent scales and uh, hence they almost are entirely blind uh, and the eyes cannot form images but are still capable of uh, uh, sensing the light intensity okay so these are the indotiflops uh, brahminus the brahmini blind snake so these were the four um, yeah non-poisonous snakes that is the largest among them that is the python molurus 
the Indian python. Then the Tyas mucosus, the very common rat snake. Then we have the boa, the uh, Eryx uh, conicus or Gungailopis conicus. And then the smallest among the snakes, that is a blind snake, the Brahmini blind snake. That is a Indotiflops brahminus. Okay, now that we, have, we can pass on to the poisonous snakes. So the common crate or the uh, Gungaris ceruleus. Uh, you can see here uh, it is called the common name is uh, common crate and uh, it has several species in India and Malayan region. It is slender and uh, um, um, about one meter long, a pale brown color with darker bluish black markings, having a white cross bars. Uh, uh, ventral surface is white. Fangs are small. The fang in the sense the teeth, the poison. Uh, teeth the fangs are small scales are smooth and the backbone is ridged having you can see here the hexagonal scales having a central row of enlarged uh, hexagonal scales okay uh, it is oviparous and the female incubates the eggs and it feeds on toads mice and smaller snakes the common crate that is a Banga bangara ceruleus comes into homes uh, it is slow moving but is highly poisonous and its venom is venom uh, is actually more poisonous than that of uh, cobra uh, so you can see here uh, very uh, peculiar white markings uh, uh, throughout their body in their uh, uh, like a bla brownish black background okay so black and white cross streaks are there then they have a very specific uh, hexagonal mid dorsal scales and uh, fangs are small so this other uh, uh, this is the common crate okay now next to he, we have is the Indian cobra, the Naja Naja, the Indian cobra. And Naja Naja is also called as Naja tripudians. It is highly poisonous snake growing up to 2 meters in length. Uh, the coloration of, of, of usually like brown or blackish color. It lives in holes and under stones uh, but also comes into human dwellings. It feeds on frogs, lizards, rats and other snakes. Scale is smooth and dorsal surface of the head has small scales it is not clearly visible over here and uh, uh, large shields the head is small uh, the cervical ribs when raised form a hood so this is uh, actually uh, the hood formation and uh, uh, it is a cervical ribs raised to form the hood on the sides of the neck its hood spread in uh, um, is more than in any other in other cobras uh, actually it is to uh, like uh, scare away the um, uh, like other animals okay that is why they enlarge their size by uh, lifting up their hood okay and when they lift up their hood the very specific unique spectacle mark on the dorsal side as becomes visible um, now the pupil is around fangs are small and relatively non-movable and on each side is a large poison gland enclosed in a fibrous capsule when annoyed it raises the front part of the body um, like a um, spreads its foot and uh, makes a uh, hissing sound through the nose and it bites with a chewing motion uh, making several wounds the venom is neurotoxic and fatal and it is more deadly than that of vipers uh, there are three common varieties of cobras in india uh, according to the marking of the foot okay here we have the um, uh, the bispectacle or the isolate cobra okay with a black and white spectacle mark Okay, so this is the Indian cobra, Naja Naja. Now, the next one is the Daboya uh, Rasali or uh, the Vipera Rasali. Uh, it, is, it has again, has a, a thick body up to 4 cm long. Head is large, uh, flat and covered with small scales. Okay, as compared with the body scales, the head is uh, uh, provided with small scales. Uh, nostrils are lateral, eyes are far forwards and there is a sensory pit between the eyes. Okay, that is why the, uh, there are pit vipers be, uh, referred. Okay, there could be pit vipers, there could be pitless viper as well. Okay, both are uh, poisonous, uh, venomous. Okay, now there, these pits are sensory organs with which a snake can detect its prey, and this pit is present between the eye and the nostril. Okay, the scales on the body are keeled. Uh, here, uh, the body scales are uh, keeled, and tail is short and tapers. Uh, uh, like uh, abruptly <coughs> the indian russell swiper is a viper russelli or the davoya russelli has enlarged nostrils unlike other vipers 
it is pale brown above with three longitudinal series of black rings each ring bordered with white uh, ventrally it